Hi, Nia. I'm Chef Tom. We are making pasta carbonara. I got uh, fresh basil and fresh uh, parsley. There's a pancetta. Also, uh, one shallot, one big one, or you can use two to three small ones. Four cloves of garlic. I got some lemon for zesting later. I used a thick kind of spaghetti. And I got that uh, shredded Asiago cheese that I have some left over and there's uh, Parmesan cheese. In that little cup I got four egg yolks and a half cup of heavy cream. And I have one pot of water boiling right now. We're gonna cut the pancetta. And we're gonna render the pancetta into the pans. We want the fat to reduce and uh, that's flavor. You don't want to cut too small, okay? You want to cut a pieces about this big because uh, we're gonna render this for maybe uh, six minutes on very low heat. Garlic. Give them a quick chop from the side. And I got this beautiful shallot. We're gonna give them a roughly uh, chop too. Peel off. Show. Like that. Then we're gonna give them a quick roughly chop. together and use my cleaver. Just gonna run through real quick like this. And we're gonna put it together with the garlic. This will give your oil really nice flavor. Doesn't matter what nationality cooking. Shallot garlic's always good. And then I already have some uh, leftover parsley that I this is basil. So give them a quick Almost like a Julian cut, chef and I cut. And we can garnish this with fresh herb over top of your finished pasta. You can mix it with the parsley. And this is a fresh Parmesan cheese. Let's give them a quick zest like that. Use some muscle! <laughs> My kids love to do this Parmesan cheese. They love cheese. Cheese is really good for you. Lots of Asian people start eating cheese now. We never introduced cheese when we were little kids. But now it's good. Oh yes, almost there. Okay, that's good. This cup I got four egg yolks and half cup of heavy cream. I'm just gonna mix in handful of the Parmesan cheese and uh, Asiago. These two cheese go really good with pasta carbonara. So do the Romano too, if you like. Just mix in like this. Here we go. Okay, I keep my uh, pan to really low heat. Add just a little bit of the olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add my uh, pancetta in. And then we're just gonna let them uh, cook for maybe uh, six to eight minutes in really low heat, okay? Every uh, 30, 45 seconds, give them a little stir. We want to render the fat until the panchata turn into like crisp. You want to make sure your pasta not overcooked. Okay? So, keep your eye on it. See, after a couple minutes, you see the panchata start to uh, render a little bit. And you're gonna add some black pepper. Because pasta carbonara need a lot of black pepper. Especially when you start cooking with the panchata. Ok, 
Okay. That's the right amount of heat that I need. Because by the time the pancetta is done, oh, and the pasta should be ready too. Now I'm gonna add in my uh, shallot and garlic. After five minutes of rendering the pancetta, Oh yes, that will infuse all the fat and the olive oil, it's going to make the sauce so delicious. You want to keep the temperature low, okay? You don't want to burn everything. Now we're going to add some... Uh, Wine, dry white wine, any kind of wine you have. We're gonna deglaze the pan. Nice amount. Oh, we're gonna wash the pan right now. Smell amazing. Low heat, let them cook through a couple more minutes and the pasta should be ready. Now I'm going to add the pasta in. You don't have to drain the pasta so good. It's okay, a little water will be great to stir the pasta in. Just stir like that. Wash through everything on the bottom of the pan. They got lots of nice uh, bit and uh, good uh, fat, black pepper, everything. Make sure you save the pasta water. It's very useful for any kind of cooking. Asian pasta, anything. Sauce, we always save it too. Even we uh, we like to eat with the dumpling uh, soup that we cook. All right, we'll crank that heat high a little bit. And now I'm gonna season more black pepper. My Asian friend, this is how you cook at home. A nice Italian pasta, some salt. If you cook long enough, you eyeball it, salt and pepper, you know how much that you need. So now, mix nice and evenly. Just give a taste. Mmm, delicious. All right, make sure pasta cook perfectly. If the pasta not cook enough yet at this moment, you can add some pasta water to cook it. Now it's good, perfect for me. Turn off your heat. The pasta carbonara is you don't want to have your egg and the cream. Some people don't even use heavy cream, and the cheese like a scrambled egg in the pasta. You don't want to do that. You just want to have the egg flavor. But at the same time, I'm going to teach you a trick is I'm going to add some pasta water add into your egg and the heavy cream mixture. And you're going to cook. I mean not cook. Just going to mix the egg, you see? So the egg not into a scramble. All right, so now we're going to add into your pasta a little bit at a time and you stir. Stir like this. Okay? And you might add a couple more times because once the pasta got into the creamy egg, they tend to see to absorb. So your pasta all of a sudden get really dry. But make sure your heat is off now, okay? And we're gonna add a little more. Just like this. I think this is good enough. And I'm gonna sprinkle some of my fresh herb. Just some. I save some for garnish for later. Give them a more flavor. Okay. And then, usually I give a try again, make sure I got enough flavor. Mmm. Good thing I tried because 
require a little bit more salt. You see, once you add the cream and the egg, they take away the flavor. And guess what? Black pepper! <laughs> this dish will not taste good without a good amount of black pepper. My shakers, come on! I want more. All right. And my fire is still off. This is perfect now. Beautiful. Okay, it's done. Before we serve, I like to add more uh, Parmesan cheese. It's pretty fine gray and Asiago cheese. And we got more fresh herb. Basil and parsley. Love those fresh herb flavors, just like that. And then we're gonna add some uh, lemon. Oh yes, look at that. My kids gonna love it. They are so spoiled. <laughs> Here we go. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. 再见。